Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Jamie and in this video we'll be looking at the insert with overriding system or user value for identity columns in HANA SQL. Identity columns are used to create a unique row identifier which is automatically incremented. This feature can be used in place of a sequence. As suggested by the name, the overriding system or user value options allow you to override this identity sequence. To get the syntax required for this lesson, please see the GitHub link in the description of this video. After you've copied the syntax from the GitHub file, open up your HANA Studio and paste in the code into a new SQL console. You will need to be logged into the HANA Studio as a user with the rights to create tables, insert data, etc. Please run lines 3 to 11, where we'll create a table of board members and insert a couple of records that we'll use later on. In lines 14 to 20, we'll create an employees table that has a definition that is essentially the same as the board members table, except that we're creating an identity column which will automatically add an ID using 100 as the starting point. If you run lines 14 to 33, we'll create the employees table, insert a bunch of records, and then run a select against that table. Our employee ID column is an identity column and starts at number 100 and in this case goes up to 109. Since that employee ID column is the table's identity column, if we run an insert like in line 36, a too many values error will be returned. One way to properly insert the data from the board member's table into the employee's table is in line 39, where we omit the board member ID, the table's first column, from the select statement. Another way to do this is to use the syntax in line 41, where we use an overriding user value. This means that we'll insert all of the information from the select statement but we'll ignore the identity value provided by the board member ID column. By running lines 41 and 42, you can see that the 11th record in the table, coming from the board member table, has an employee ID value which is in the same sequence as the other employee ID values. In the case of the CEO, Bob, he doesn't want to have his employee ID in the same sequence as everyone else's and wants to retain his employee ID of number one. With the override functionality, we can also insert records into a table with an identity column with the ID coming from the select instead of the existing identity sequence, meaning that we can easily keep Bob's employee ID of number one. This is done with syntax similar to line 44, where we use the overriding system value option. If you run lines 44 to 45, we've added Bob's information into our employees table, but have retained his existing board member ID in the select by overriding the employee column identity. This concludes the lesson on using an insert with overriding system or user value, which is used on identity columns. For more videos on using SAP HANA, please go to youtube.com and search for SAP HANA Academy. You can also follow us on Twitter from username SAP HANA Academy. Thanks for watching.